Hey, welcome back to Drawbridge Props and Armory. My name is Levi Woods and I'm a prop builder. Today I'm going to show you a little trick that I used last year. I was working on Man in the High Castle and we were presented with a scenario where an actor was going to make a phone call on camera and he wanted to be able to phone another actor who was not in town. So we had to, rather than doing like off-camera dialogue, we had to rig it up so that we had a phone that he could use, like an old school one like this from the 1960s. And we had to connect that to just a regular working cell phone so that we could plug this phone into this phone and make a call. It was a pretty cool idea, it was pretty interesting, and we ended up playing around with it in the shop and just like playing music on it randomly. So you could walk around with a phone like this and listen to your music playing from your iPhone. So I thought I better do a little video on how I'm gonna do this and show you guys exactly how I wired this phone to work like that. So let's get over to the bench. As we get started here, I'd like to say thank you to all my subscribers. As I was editing this video, I've actually hit 5,000 subscribers, and I'm pretty happy about that. If you guys notice, I'm cutting out a little brand of my Portcullis logo to put in the center of this rotary phone. And if you have a moment and you like my videos, please click the like button down below. And if you haven't subscribed already, you can click on the little Portcullis logo in the bottom right-hand corner of the video to become a subscriber. I'm going to rewire this phone and bypass all of the internal mechanisms of the original phone. So basically, we're going to have a wire coming in from the cell phone and directly connect that to the handset cord. So we've got four wires coming in from this cream handset cable. And we can see that there's black, green, yellow, and red. So I'm gonna create a little wiring diagram so that I don't get confused as we go through this. Next, I'll unscrew the mouthpiece and earpiece of the handset so I can take a look at which wires are running to the microphone and speaker. This helps take a lot of the guesswork out of the wiring. I can see that the black and yellow wires run to the speaker and that the red and green run to the microphone. The next thing I'm going to need is the cord that runs to the cell phone. This has to be a four pole 3.5 millimeter jack and it's not a very common cable. So I picked up a brand new discount headset for a couple of dollars and I'm going to cut the cord off it. I strip back the sheath and I find there are three wires. I'll use an audible continuity tester to find out which wires are connected to the bands on the four pole jack. Number three isn't used which makes sense as the handset was mono. Last year I tried to use the cord off an earbud style headset and the wires inside were so tiny that I couldn't use it for this application. I disconnect the four wires from the telephone handset so I can connect them directly to the cell phone cord. Now I connect the black wire of the handset to the pink wire of the cell phone cord and plug it into an iPod. I connect the yellow to the clear just to see, but I know it will be the white ground wire that will make this work. Filling out my wiring diagram helps me keep it all in check. The speaker is the same white for ground, and clear for audio. Now that everything's been tested, I can disconnect all of my test wires and get ready to permanently install these two wires together. I take some wire strippers and I strip back the ends of the four wires leading to the corded handset. Then I follow my wiring diagram, connecting all the wires in the right order. It's important that I'm careful about this. Once they're all twisted together, I can solder them and then put a little shrink tube on each one. Finally, a zip tie and a larger heat shrink, and it's completely ready to go. I put the phone back together and run a quick music test to see if it works. That's how to get your phone to work on a uh, an old handset like this. So now I can make a call and test it out. Of me trying to talk on this phone. Wow, it is hard to hold these old phones compared to the new ones. Anyways, they're hard, they're hard to hold. Anyways, I just thought I would do a little test for everybody, showing them that uh, I can actually talk on this phone and talk to you uh, through my cell phone. So, pretty cool. Yeah, great. I, they can't hear you, but uh, I hope they believe me. Yeah, yeah. So, anyways, guys, until next time, thanks so much.